I am here now in, uh, in San Pedro Sula with my little brother Joel and um, where are we going today? Andamos. Ahorita vamos para el mall de San Pedro Sula. We're going to the San Pedro Sula's mall and uh, we actually need to get some cash out because I don't have any uh, local currency in Lempira. But uh, that's the plan. We're going to try to get some money and uh, we're going to drive around a little bit. We don't have any uh, agenda or schedule for today, but uh, I'll go ahead and record it for you guys so you guys can see a little bit of the of my native country, Honduras. Hello. Dale, come on. Eh, también vamos a ir por un desayuno típico. Oh, ¿Quieres que grabar? ¿Quieres que grabar? Sí. Bueno. También vamos a ir por un desayuno típico aquí, lo que es la ciudad de San Pedro Sula. Vamos a ir a, a degustar nuestros desayunos típicos de aquí, de la zona. Para ver si quedamos complacidos con este muchacho. <risa> Está el Estadio Olímpico, ¿no? Aquí ya no se mira, ¿no? El pedazo de Estadio Olímpico, Santiago Bernabéu. Loco está. No sé si es la. No, no es esta. La cancha por donde está, por la 20, no estoy seguro. Ah, esa cancha es. ¿Verdad? La que está allá por. Nos está viendo para la cabaña. Ahí metió esa, can... yo... esa canchita, loco, solo me daban caritas a mí, no, no podía jugar, no tenía gente, no tenía Ya está toda pelona, ¿no? Sí, me imagino, pues ya está vieja, ¿no? Uf, 40 años ya no va a dar. Las, las únicas 3, 4 veces que había jugar ahí en todas las goles me llevaban de refuerzo y ya cuando me metían a jugar ya miraban que no era cualquier gato el que llevaron <risa> <risa> no, me este man juega ¿eh? Saco el dinero de la gasolinera. Exacto. Esa puma no, esa puma no es buena. <laughs> so they, there's a joke over here that uh, the people say if you want to find out where you're at uh, 
you and you're driving or you're in a train or whatever you stick your hand out and if you lose everything apparently you know where you're at <laughs> oh man anyways god man it feels so good to go to be back in my country here and um uh, I gotta say that the, the heat that we had uh, this last week or this week Monday Sunday Saturday oh my gosh um, the heat right now over here is is not that bad obviously we're, we're in the car with AC um, but yeah it's it, it feels a lot better over here right now I believe summer it's in uh, in March April somewhere in there so right now the weather's cooled down a little bit it's still hot but it has cooled down a little bit from what it normally is so yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, drive up a little bit more and I'll, I'll show you guys maybe um maybe i'll put gas in the car one one of these days and uh and they just kind of just drive around and make a video of just the drive around honduras and you know if you guys want to see that i'll go ahead and um and post it up so i'm going to make a vlog and then i'm also going to post a video of just driving around the city here um one disclaimer that I will tell you is, unfortunately here in Honduras, uh, there's a lot of places with a lot of garbage uh, on the street. And that's something that, you know, that people need to work on. Uh, that's not something that the government is fully responsible for. Uh, I think at some point we have to be accountable for our actions. So I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna try to be an example. You know, if I eat something, I'm not gonna throw it in the garbage. I'm gonna hold it and throw it in the garbage can and you know i think that when people start doing that that's when changes start happening and uh, so that's what we really uh, need to do as individuals do our part and then hopefully somebody else will do that part as well that mountain that you see back there is called el merendon and uh this mountain goes through all of honduras guatemala Right? It passes through Guatemala too. Yes. Eh, Salvador, no. No. Nicaragua? No. Solo Honduras and Guatemala. So as far as I know, apparently the mountain just goes through. Um, it's uh, it's like a chain of mountains, you know, like a mountain loop that uh, goes from Guatemala through Honduras. And uh, they're actually pretty, pretty big. I don't know about the height. They're not the tallest, I don't believe, because it uh, doesn't snow or anything like that. But there is places in Honduras where it gets uh, high enough um, that it actually gets really cold. Even for me, I'm sure I'm going to have to wear a sweater at some point.
also I'm back at the house and kind of stressing out a little bit that the um, we don't have a charger for the batteries on my camera so I've been looking everywhere and I can't find them and uh, that's a problem because that means that for the photo shoot um, I only have a half a battery and it's, um, it's a little bit over a half battery but it's a generic battery and I'm using the R6 and I'm concerned that I'm just not going to be able to take enough photos or whatnot but I have two full batteries, original full batteries, um, that I plan on saving for the wedding, and um, that's a tough one. The uh, I have another battery, but that was left with the charger, so <sighs> I thought I had everything already packed and planned and everything ready to go, and uh, yeah, now I got this issue with the charger, so... Everywhere I've looked so far, um, no charger, the batteries, no no batteries. And it just seems like maybe it's too expensive here in Honduras for stores to carry those items because they're so expensive. Um, you know, so yeah. Anyways, we'll finish this little blog here and um, hope you like some of the aerial footage. Uh, we'll see tomorrow what we, did, what we can do. So yeah, hey, I don't, you know, whatever. We're gonna get it done no matter what. Stay positive. Things will come, you know, uh, when you stay positive. So, till next time, you guys be blessed. Peace.